Alright guys, what's going on? Uh, welcome back to the tutorial. Sorry that I've been away for a while. I've been just very busy with college work. And uh, one of the things that I noticed in my old comments uh, on the other videos is uh, the audio volume of my voice. And the reason why it was so low is because on my computer I used to have, um, I think it was Audio Booster by MSI. So basically I was hearing, when I was editing the video, everything was like double the volume size so I had to turn the volume down to suit my earphones but then I forgot that actually affects everyone else so I've been uploading quiet content so sorry about that um, <clears throat> today we are we're gonna do a splash screen for your game so uh, what I've done is I got another I got a movie texture of um, Valve logo from Dota 2 so basically the basic valve logos which is just yeah it's basically that logo and that's what we're going to be displaying and then we're going to go into our um where is it scenes we're going to go to our level selector scene then uh check my build settings so my build settings will go over this in a few minutes so uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new canvas UI for a raw image. And now we get this massive thing. Uh, okay. Right. Uh, stretch this out to the full size, as we've done before. And then I'm going to set the anchorage to stretch so it changes with all the screen sizes. And that is our raw image then, and then the movie texture will apply in. So we're gonna create a new C sharp script, and I'm gonna call it oh god, new script. Um, call it splash, splash screen manager. Okay, so I'm gonna move this through. Void start. <coughs> so, and then void update. Hello. Okay. Um, now we're gonna do a public movie texture. Public movie texture, and we're gonna call this uh, splash screen texture. Oh my god, I cannot cold today. And we also need to be doing using Unity engine.ui so we can use the UI elements of raw image. And then we're going to do a private audio source. I'm just going to call it audio. And then we're going to do a required component as well. So in brackets, we're going to do require component. And then we're going to do type of type of and then audio source. Um, now, because this script is going to be on the actual raw image, we're going to do uh, get component raw image. So I'll get the component of the texture. Oh Jesus! I've been spending too much time in actual Windows forms and Unity, so. <laughs> To splash screen texture as movie texture. Oh, movie player, movie texture. <clears throat> and then we're gonna do audio equals get component audio source. And then audio clip. Audio dot clip equals uh, the splash screen texture, the audio clip, so that gets the audio 
from the actual movie itself because the movie doesn't hold the audio when playing it because it's technically a texture so we have to get the audio from it and then we will do uh, splash screen dot play so that will play the splash screen and then audio dot play so I'll play the splash screen the audio at the same time and starting up this scene and then in update we're going to do if um, splash screen texture dot is playing so technically we're saying it's not playing because this exclamation mark here so that means it's not playing or you could do equals 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 false then you can do it that way either whatever way uh, you like to do it and then we're going to do application dot load level and then because of our build settings I'm going to do one and then save and that is pretty much it that's going to play our splash screen and then when the splash screen has stopped playing, so it's ended, we're going to go to our next scene. Um, and that next scene could be another splash screen as well. It depends on what way you want to do it. And now if we go back to Unity, please stop open services. Uh, here it's asking for a movie texture. So if I go to my movie textures and I drop in this, so that applies movie texture and then this will get printed onto here. So um, if I click play, it went straight here, missing component, um, okay, just went straight for it, uh, probably the audio source. Then when it ends, it should go to the next scene. Perfect. So then it comes to our level selector then. Now, uh, to get to your build settings, just do Control B, or you can come up here to File and then go Build Settings, or Control Shift B, either or whatever. Um, so Control B, and then Splash Screen is uh, the value of zero. So that's gonna be our first scene when we build our project. And then you can see the level selector is number one. And then in the code, we asked it to uh, load number one when it stopped playing. So that's number one. You could load it by uh, by the name of the scene. So you could load it by scene slash level selector if you wanted to. Uh, but I just done it by the value just for the purpose of this. Um, so that is uh, pretty much uh, how to create your splash screens. And you can create like um, the likes of these movie textures. You can create your own ones so let's just say you have an animator on your team you want an animated uh, uh, splash screen you could get them to animate something or you can make your own kind of thing in uh, Sony Vegas or whatever editing software you use and then literally drag them into unity and they'll become a movie texture and uh, the way I have a video on movie textures in general anyways so that will explain more on it and I'll link that in the description below but uh, that is pretty much it for this video guys, hopefully it helped and uh, please rate, comment and subscribe and let me know if you have any problems. Uh, thanks for watching, cheers, bye.